Guten Tag. Oh. Good Nacht. Good evening, my friend. Good Abend. We are going to Oktoberfest. Oh. We're going to have some Paul Hanner beer. Are there going to be accents? Are there going, could be accents. Are you going to break out a dirndl? Oh, I, no, you don't please. want me to dirndl. Please. Although, I think I can rock please. a dirndl. Please, no dirndl. I can rock a dirndl. But wait, before we get to that, folks, subscribe to our channel if you like what you see, or maybe you shouldn't. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Tell us if you've been to Oktoberfest. Tell us if you've had these Paul Anner beers. And if you've been to Oktoberfest, dirndls and lederhosen, do they really wear them? Or is it just publicity? Let us know. And please, be polite. Cheers. Back to, back to Munich. Guten Nacht. München. 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 Bavaria. Bavaria. It's part of Bavaria, right? I believe so. Yep. So what we got is Paul Anner, Oktoberfest Marzen and Oktoberfest beer. Now, my understanding is there were only like five or six beers actually served at Oktoberfest. I think they're like licensed too. Yeah. Uh, they carry like the uh, Scotch has a royal seal. I think there's the same thing where there's the predecessor breweries that carried this for the the actual Oktoberfest. Something the like marriage that. of the Holy Roman Emperor's daughter or something, right? Something like that. All I know is that it ends on the first Sunday in October and you go back 15 days and that's, that's the start. Like a two week celebration. Yep. Sounds like a good time to me. Beer fest. Sounds crazy. So. I remember there were a whole bunch of stats. It was like, you know, how much beer they go through, how much like water and, and the number of porter potties and the number of people that attend. And it's, obviously this year they didn't do it. And so. the sausages. Can't forget the sausages. Oh, sausages, pretzels. Sausages. It's all good fun. I think all so. All good fun. So again, we got two beers. We're going to start with the regular Oktoberfest beer. I'll pour. I'll read a little bit while you pour. This Golden Oktoberfest lager is the only beer served in Paul Lanner Oktoberfest tents today. It also happens to be the best-selling Oktoberfest beer in Germany. Ingredients, water, malted barley, and hops. Hop varieties, Hercules, Holler Tower Tradition, malt varieties, varieties, Pilsner malt, light barley malt, Munich malt, Dark barley malt. Dark barley malt. Uh, let's see. What else? They give us a whole bunch of other stuff here, but I don't know what any of this means. So I'm going to skip it. ABV is 6%. So it's kind of a serious uh, no, serious beer. Not bashful. No. And I thought they were supposed to be like lighter so you could drink them all day. Mm -hmm. So, cheers. Prost! Is that what you say, Jeremy? No. No? Skull? <laughs> no. What do you say? They're both like Russian ear. Oh, I don't know. One of those. Salute. How about that? Chantan? Cheers. Chantan? <laughs> Not even close! Oh, come on. They were part of the Axis Powers. Let's go. Uh, Bready. Very, yeah, very doughy. Malty. Yeah. Maybe a little hoppy. It smells pretty much like you'd expect it to be. Yeah, but it's got a little bit... It, it smells like it's got some body to it. It's got a little oomph. At 6%, I imagine it does have a little oomph. Maybe just a hint of citrus. You think? A hint of honey. Well, yeah, it's a little sweet. Yeah. You know, definitely like a little bit of, you know, good old malty sweetness, yeah. as there should be. The color, maybe a little pale, almost like a pale orange, bright yellow. Bright yellow. Yeah, not much in the way ahead. Nope. No not real totally like, froth. But let's go ahead. That'll do you. Not bad. For what it is. Not a bad That's not bad. It's got not a little body beer. to it. It's pretty good. It's a little not too fizzy. Medium mouthfeel. Yeah. Not bad at all. No, there's like a little bit of bitterness to it. You get a little bit of bitterness, you get a little bit of breadiness in the front. It's pretty crisp. It's very clean. It's a decent beer. I think beer. the crisp is really what I'm getting more than anything. I mean, it's not really my style of beer. Well, it's not something I usually go... I like a little more hops. But, for what this is... For what it is, it's a good I beer. I mean, it's essentially a lager, right? Yeah. It's a good beer, yeah. I know it's an Oktoberfest beer, but it's still a lager. So, no, it's good. I like it. Is. I mean, it's what, a B? Yeah, it's, it's a B. It's a B, yeah. it's a solid beer. Yeah. And I gotta say, I was like, you know, it was eighty three, eighty four. So it was, it was very yeah. clean, and I almost found myself chugging it. Yeah, I think it will go down very because there's very, easy. very little fizz and very little bitterness. Mm -hmm. I think it will go down very, very fast, which is probably why they have those very large mugs and they chug them all. Oh. Yeah, that goes down really, really easy. I mean, I don't recommend that as an idea. That was full. I already sucked down half of it. So yeah, I mean, it's you know a solid beer. I think so. Solid beer. I, I can't. So. I can't say it's any. It's better than a bud for sure. Well, that's not saying much. I know, but it's not really still. high praise. No, it's not. It is not. But no, it was good. I like it. I think and it's good. I think I could drink that all day and, uh, on a hot day. With a bunch of schnitzel. Yeah, I think it's with a bunch of schnitzel. A bunch of schnitzel. A bunch of schnitzel. Some a bunch of, of some Vienna schnitzel. A bunch of brats. Some 
some uh, big pretzels, big Bavarian pretzels. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now you're talking. Yeah, exactly. Do you have any of that? No, I have none. Then stop talking. I got a bag of popcorn. Stop talking. Want some popcorn? Oh, that's just like Oktoberfest. A uh, bag of popcorn. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's move on. Next beer. Just pour away, baby boy. Pour away. We're gonna do. We're gonna rock these. We're gonna do these quick. We're on to the Mars All right. Let me get on the. The one that started it all. Oktoberfest Marzen, the original. Uh, an amber beer style that was developed over 200 years ago to celebrate the original Oktoberfest. The Marzen name comes from March beer because it was historically brewed in March to be a peak flavor for the Oktoberfest celebration. Today, this style is available year-round in the U.S. due to popular demand. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, hop varieties, Hercules, however you say it, Hollow Tower Tradition, Malt Varieties, Pilsner Malt, Light Barley Malt, Munich Malt. I think it's about the same, right? This, this is aged, right? It's just an older beer. This is just the older version of that one. And they put it up in March and leave it for six months. Wow, you can tell. Look at that. That's got a nice dark amber color. Sorry, we're heading to it. Slash. Cheers. Cheers. All that. This So this smells a lot. Um, this is much a deeper. Lot, yeah, a lot much prettier, better. A lot more it's like notes. caramely. Yeah. There's a little caramelyness to it. A little bit more like some cardboard paper. <laughs> Do you think? I don't mean in a bad way, just I c I'm getting almost like more like a darker, like a honey. Like mm. you know, like like that kind of almost like a molasses. There's a little bit of a richness to it mm. on the nose. Let's go in for a taste. Much darker color. Again, much, much darker. You can see in the background. This is about like, what? Well, now we're talking Amber here. We are. She's on the main stage. We are. She is on the stage in <laughs> Oktoberfest. Yeah? Cards and letters. <laughs> G-Lo. Hey, I'm sorry. G-Lo. I'm sorry. Um, about the same mouthfeel, about as carbonated as the first one, but a whole lot more flavor. A little sweeter. Much sweeter. Don't you think? I think. And a little bit more finish, a little more bitterness in the finish. Very nice. Very nice. Again, not really my style yeah. of beer. And to be honest, I think I prefer the other one. No. You know, I mean, in terms of like for longevity, for drinking. I can see that. You know, I think I, I like that, that I one. I think the first one that went down a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. I think that one went down yeah. a little bit smoother. That would be more of an all-day drinking beer. I mean, this isn't bad. Yeah. I could almost see this going with like maybe a dessert because it's got that caramelness to it. Yeah. You know, if you drink beer with dessert, if you do that, like, um, what do you call it? The turtles? You know, those like caramel sure. and chocolate? Sure, sure, sure. You know, I can almost see doing Do you that. have any of those? No. No. <laughs> no. I got Reese cups. No. Got some Reese cups? No. Ugh. Man, you're not fun. So, yeah, so I um, I like them both. I think uh, Paul Lanner, they've been around, you know, 200 years doing this. They kind of know what they're doing. You know what? Good. This one, I think, is more like what we're getting when, when an American brewer, like a craft brewer, decides to make an Oktoberfest. Because yeah. they tend to come out a lot yeah, more here. They make more of a Marzen. You know? And it's not as crisp. I think I like the crispness of this better. And I think the American versions, they tend to spice them. Yeah, I don't know. What so there's doing. more of an odd flavor to them. They're, they're always, they're always like bready. Different. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a fan they're, of them too much. Not, this is, this is very good. And I think in the beginning the of the blog, we must have reviewed about 10 or 15 different Oktoberfests. Yep. And there were very few that I actually liked. So... These? Are nice. They're pretty good. Nice. I would actually... Now, this one's going to get an upgrade. Just very nice. based on these two. I'm giving this a B+. Plus. Yeah. I'd say I'm both. giving this one like a B-. minus Because it's not both. really my style. To me, they're both these. Yeah. I like this one. So 83, 84, you'd probably say that's a little... Maybe that's an 85 for you. And then... Mm. 84, 87. 84, 87. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm going. That's fair. That's where I'm going. That's fair. So, um, thank you to the fine folks at Paul Lanner USA for sending these along. And uh, Delicious. Uh, yeah, they were good. Cheers. So, and you know what? We got we got this done before the end of October. There you go. I mean, we didn't make Oktoberfest, but we're still in October. With COVID, no one made Oktoberfest. So, we'll change the K to a C and we're in. You say so. Cheers. Cheers. It's lunch.